Real gospel with real harmony and real grooves right here at FM HDMS. We are Digital One. Good morning, everybody. I'm Simone Malone. And for those of you that check me out on Facebook and my YouTube channel, Trusted Voice in Radio, I appreciate you so much. Well, let's do our inspirational moment. This is the last inspirational moment before the new year. And I want you to join me on New Year's Day. I'm going to be right here live with you to encourage you and get you ready on the right foot and start you out fresh. For the new year. Well, let's talk about let's be ready. How many of you are ready? You know you've been through so much this year. I've been through so much, but God has kept us. He's protected us. That's why you're still here, and that's why you're listening and watching me right now. Praise God for that. When you get a chance, I want you to read 1 John chapter 2, 28 uh, during your daily devotion, but we're going to focus on 1 John chapter 3, verse 3, and it says, everyone who has this hope in him purifies himself do you have hope today do you believe that good things are going to happen for you in 2012 i do i'm not worried about what has happened to me in this year i'm looking forward to a better year for 2012 so first john 3 3 says everyone who has this hope in him purifies himself happy new year i can say that now looking forward to what this new year would bring i can't help but wonder in 2012, will this, the, will this be the year that God comes back for you? And when we talk about God coming back for you, that means that if you die today or tomorrow, are you ready? Are you going to go to heaven? You're going to have to make a choice. You're going to have to decide who you're going to serve. And God's going to make that decision whether you're going to go to heaven or hell. All of my life, I've always wondered about being ready. What does that mean, being ready? That means do what God has called you to do. A lot of you this year have procrastinated on things that you know that God has called you to do. you got to move forward and be proactive in your development. This 2012 is just around the corner. Come on now, be proactive and do what you have to do. Speaking of Christ's return, John tells us that everyone who has this hope in him purifies himself. First John 3, 3, looking forward to Jesus' return fills us with hope. Not a wish list kind of hope, but a solid expectation that motivates us to keep our hearts from sinful distractions. And a lot of you know this year we have had a lot of sinful distractions, a lot of volatile distractions, uh-huh, in our personal lives as well. And if you look on the news, you can see it every day. But if we have hope, we know that Christ can help us. If we really believe that this might be the year of his return, for 2012 I'm talking about, we will be more ready to forgive to seek forgiveness, and to share God's unconditional love with others. The problem with us as Christians, we don't share unconditional love. What's wrong with us? We say we love the Lord, but yet do we love our fellow men. Uh-huh. As we consider the possibility that Jesus could return in 2012, let's be sure that we are ready. That means you need to know him as Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And believe me, you're going to need the anointing and the Holy Spirit to keep you for sure. Let's strive to be pure as he is pure, anticipating the day when tears and sorrow and pain and death will be replaced with the everlasting joy of his presence. Thank you, Father. Remember, wanting to be ready for Christ's return will make a difference in the way we live. Let me share that with you one more time. Wanting to be ready for Christ's return will make a difference in the way we live. So learn to live righteously and soberly every day. You know, as well as I do, that we have things that we have to work on. We should not leave this year and go into 2012 with that extra baggage. Put it in the balcony of your life. Hope you enjoyed the inspiration a moment. Let's touch and agree on that. Father God, I thank you for this word because our people need to be ready. Lord, I want to be ready. I want to be able to fight the devil and attack all of my obstacles with prayer and enthusiasm. Lord, we ask you to help our listeners of FMHDMS and those that check me out on Facebook and YouTube to be ready. Because God, we got some things that we got to deal with and we want you to be able to help us to get through it. God, keep sickness and death and poverty away from our people in the precious name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. If you believe God with me, say amen. And not only that, you need to tell Satan to get out of your life and get out of your mind, body, and soul. We hope you enjoyed this inspirational moment. I tell you, I feel his presence because God is in this studio and I know that he's touching somebody's life today. And if you've been touched by this ministry, I want to hear from you. Go right there to the inbox inbox me also place a comment under the testimonial let us know your feedback because god has called us to share this word of inspiration with you every single day there you have it our word of inspiration let's be ready i don't know about you but i'm gonna keep on 
fighting for the Lord.